show you what it takes to take care of type 4 hair and what a real wash regimen looks like. me naturally Z welcome back to my channel where I do feature my natural hair journey I'm coming at you today with a video that I have made a lot of videos where I do product reviews breaking down the ingredients in products but this one's gonna be a little bit different I am going to be reviewing an article. It doesn't just feature natural hair care products. It also features other items that consumers would be interested in buying towards doing something with their hair. Uh, before we get started, as you can see, I have my hair out and I've been wearing it out for the last three weeks. If you look at my natural hair care vlogs, I've been showing you guys how I have been taking care of my hair for the last few weeks. So check out those videos to see how I care for my hair while I'm wearing it out like this. Let's go ahead to this particular article itself. It's from Allure.com. It is called 11 Black Hair Care Brands to Try in 2023 and Beyond. So let's get started with the number one on the list is Melanin Hair Care. Melanin Hair Care is a natural hair care line that was launched by a vlogger named Whitney White. She started out as a natural hair care vlogger and she was able to use that success to actually create her own hair care line. I am not going to be saying much about the line here in this video because I've actually made a separate video breaking down the ingredients in two of the products from Melanin Hair Care. And in that video, I basically say I would pass on it. The reason why I would pass on it is because the two products that I reviewed, turns out they're actually the same. They may be good products, but if you're interested in either one of these products, only buy one and not the other. So check out my videos for both of these products and you'll know what I'm talking about. But for me personally, it is a pass. Oh, when it comes to me deciding whether I want to buy a product or not, and the rule is I the first five ingredients in a product, and where you will find that is not on the front label, it's on the back of the product where the ingredients label is listed. With the ingredients label, it has to comply with the Federal Drug Administration's rules that the ingredients need to be listed in order of concentration from highest to lowest. The first ingredient on the ingredients label will have the most concentration and it goes down in decreasing order. Usually the first ingredient is water. Water takes up 50 to 80 percent of the concentration of a product's formula and then from there the second ingredient, I kid you not, will have less than 10 percent concentration in the product and then from there it goes down significantly third ingredient may have five to three percent the fourth may have you know three percent or less probably two percent and then from there it will be where the rest of the ingredients may only have one percent or less because some of the ingredients that are in a product formula they do not do the work of the product. They're only there for marketing purposes in order to say that particular ingredient is in the product and will attract a consumer to buy the product. So when it comes to you determining whether you want to buy a product or not, only look at the first five ingredients on the ingredients label on the back of the product. All right, with Melanin Hair Care, pass. Okay, going to the number two product on the list, it is Bread Beauty Supply. I've never heard of this product line, but it is a black-owned hair care line, and it was created by a lady named Maeva Heim in 2020. The line offers basic hair care products, shampoo, deep conditioner, and oil to moisturize the hair. The line is available on their own website as well as on Ulta Beauty. 
And so since launching the line, the collection has moved on to adding 13 hair care products. I'm not going to review all of the hair care products here in this video, but I will do one and I'm doing the one that I'm interested in and that is the hair mask deep conditioner. The cost for that is $28 for 12 ounces. First thought for me, it's too expensive. The claims that company is making for this product is that it is infused with rich super fruits. And the fruits are kakadu, plum seed oil. Supposedly it helps with slip and deeply softening your hair strands. The other ingredients that they highlight, now these are marketing ingredients, meaning that these ingredients may or may not do the key work of the product, but the company is featuring these ingredients in order to lure a consumer to buy the product. So the other ingredients is star flower oil. The other is hydrolyzed wheat protein. Now, when you look at the first five ingredients of this product, when you turn the product around and look at the ingredients label, they are one water, two satiral alcohol, three isomyl laurate, four shea butter, five is stearamidopropyl dimethylamine. I'm sorry, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I can Google it and let you know what it is. So in this case, do you see any of those marketing ingredients that they are featuring for this product within the first five ingredients on the ingredients label? No, they are not. And in fact, the Kakadu Plum Seed Oil is number seven on the list, and the Sunflower Seed Oil is listed number eight. Um, those ingredients aren't really contributing towards conditioning your hair and that is proven by they are so low on the ingredients label list. The actual key ingredients that are doing the work of the product are the number two ingredient, satiro alcohol. That is a multifunctioning ingredient, very common ingredient. You'll find it in almost every hair care product. It being number two, I really like that ingredient uh, because it is a creamy texture to it. It helps to coat the hair strands. It helps capture a curl pattern. And it's something that my hair responds very well to. It's an emulsifier as well as a conditioning agent for your hair. And the number three, isoamyl laurate, it's an emollient. That's an oil. So that's another good ingredient to have. Shea butter, it's an emollient. And the number five ingredient, steromidopropyl dimethylamine, it is also similar to the Satira alcohol. So overall, it might be an interesting product to try, but I would not buy it. I would pass on it because the price is $28 for 12 ounces. If you want me to do a breakdown of other products from bread it's like a tongue twister from bread beauty supply let me know by just posting it in the comment section below i would love to do that all right number three is glow by day and their product are bonnets and their claim here is that the bonnets provide more room for your braids and poofy hair personally i'm kind of lazy half here half there when it comes to bonnets and purchasing a lot of them so for me, I would pass on the product because I'm just simply not interested in buying any further bonnets. But if you're interested in these, you should go to their website. That's where they sell them. I browsed the website and they really do have some really cute head wraps. And she offers heat caps, shower caps, and satin scarves. So, you know, check it out. Maybe you would want to buy one as a gift for a friend. All right, number four on the list, Eden Body Works. It is a black-owned hair care company, and it was started by a lady named Jasmine Lawrence in 2004, and she sells from her website. The claim here is that she has several collections formulated to address different hair issues. I went to their website where she sells her products, and the one that was featured in the article was this lavender aloe growth oil 
and it's $10.99 for four ounces. That is a hard pass for me because it's very expensive. Oils don't need to be that expensive. Just get a, a basic light oil. I like sweet almond oil. I use that to um, take down my two strand twist ends, my cornrows, and also provide shine to my hair. And another product on the website that I checked out was the coconut leave-in conditioner. It is $9.99 for eight ounces. The marketing claim, it delivers hydration and moisture. Well, that's what you want your conditioner to do, is deliver those things. Protect against protein loss, adds shine, and promotes curl definition. It is claiming the key ingredients are coconut oil, shea butter, aloe vera, avocado oil, and jojoba oil. Well, the actual key ingredients are water, number one, two, aloe vera leaf juice, three, coconut oil, four, jojoba oil, five, safflower, safflower, oh my God, safflower seed oils. And based on the ingredients label, I would not buy this product because the key ingredients in this product within the first five, they're mainly oils. I like fatty alcohols like acetyl alcohol, satiro alcohol, sterile alcohol. Those are not bad alcohols. Those are fatty alcohols where it derives its conditioning from the coconut oil, which has a good fatty type of feel to it and it's very good for your hair and they are multi-functioning ingredients. So if I don't see a fatty alcohol within the first five ingredients of a ingredients label, I do not buy that product. And in this case, because they're mainly oils within the first five ingredients, this is an oil type conditioner and those do not work well with my hair. My hair just feels like it's not even getting any type of conditioning from the product. So for me, that would be a hard pass. If you want me to review any of the other products on Eden Body Works website, let me know by posting below. And what I do like about the product itself is that the marketing ingredients actually match up with the actual key ingredients on the ingredients label. So for instance, coconut oil is listed number three on the ingredients label. Aloe vera is listed number two on the ingredients label. Avocado oil is number six. Jojoba oil is number four. All right, the number five on the list is Design Essentials. Uh, this company was founded in 1990 by Cornell McBride to provide salon quality products that work for all hair types and products for extensions and wig care. When I have my braids with the extensions, that would interest me to see what they offer for braid extensions. So it's sold on their website and they have a line called Avocado and Almond Collection that uses both avocado and almond oil to repair and condition damaged hair. That is their marketing claim. So I went to their website, I clicked on the first product and it was the anti-breakage leave-in conditioner. And the price for that is $13.99 for 12 ounces. And the marketing claims for this product on their website are replenishes moisture and smooths the cuticle for healthier hair saves up to 30 minutes detangling time, nourishes and restores hair and scalp health, free from paraben, silicones, and petrolatum. Saves up to 30 minutes detangling time. I don't understand that as a bullet point depending on the length of your hair and the thickness, the density, it may take longer or shorter. Nourishes and restore hair and scalp health that is something that a conditioner should do. When it comes to a conditioner, you don't want to apply it directly to your scalp. Shampoo is intended to clean your scalp. Conditioner is intended to condition your hair strands. 
Um, free from parabens, silicones, and petrolatum. All those ingredients get really bad names. The hair industry, the natural hair industry, they have put a spin on these ingredients as being bad when they're not really bad. You know what ingredients that are really bad for your hair and your scalp and your body are relaxers. Those are literally lie and ingredients that can burn your scalp. I mean, I think there's a higher chance of you getting ill from relaxing your hair than from parabens, silicones, and petrolatum. They are good ingredients where they will provide a good curl pattern to your hair. The bad thing about it, and it's not a bad thing because it happens with all products that you apply to your hair over and over and over without washing it. It builds up in your hair strands, your hair gets dirty, it gets weighed down, you're not able to style it any longer, so what you have to do is shampoo your hair. So besides that, those ingredients are not bad, but it's taken off in the natural hair community, in the black hair community, that these type of ingredients are bad, and they're not. So with that said, they're claiming the key ingredients in this product are the Chebi powder promotes growth by strengthening the hair, shea butter, and African extract. I've said in almost every one of my videos that I make about breaking down the ingredients in a product, whenever the ingredient name has extract at the end, that ingredient is not contributing toward the work of the product. It is not conditioning your hair. It's there for only to attract a consumer to buy the product. Cosmetic chemists know that these extracts are not doing the work of the product, but are only there for marketing purposes. And that is probably the same with this. So knowing what they are claiming are the key ingredients in this product, let me give you the actual key ingredients in this product based on the ingredients label. The number one is water, number two is glycerin, number three is methyl glucid dash 10, number four is behentramonium methyl sulfate, five is shea butter. You don't see within those first five ingredients, you don't see Chebby powder within the first five ingredients. You do see shea butter listed number five on the ingredients label, and the African extract is number 10. For me, this product, I would pass on it based on the ingredients in this product. Glycerin is a humectant. Methyl glucid dash 10 is a humectant. Number four, I really like this ingredient, behentramonium methyl sulfate. That is a type of ingredient that is very common in conditioners, but it is listed number four on the ingredients label, so that means that there is less of that than the glycerin and the methyl glucid dash 10. And for reasons that the main ingredients in this product are humectants, I would not buy it. Humectants rely on the environment to have moisture be attracted to your hair strands. And then from that, you have to make sure that the dew point is within a range where you are actually pulling moisture from the air into your hair strands instead of it being drawn from your hair strands. And that is something that I don't feel like having to figure out every time when I use a product to condition my hair. So a hard pass on the anti-breakage leave-in conditioner by Design Essentials. They also have other products on their website. If you wish for me to break down the ingredients in those products, please post below which product you'd like for me to review. All right, let's move on to the next. The number six on the list is Curls Dynasty. Curls Dynasty was founded in 2014 by Nikki Nugai. First products, a mix of oils called the Organic Oil Blend. Since then, she expanded the brand, offering to a full range of natural 
hair products that will take you through all the steps in your wash day routine. So I went to the website. Homepage offers different collections. Having started my natural hair journey quite a while ago, I remember when I first started, I would just buy the whole line. I would buy from the shampoo, the rinse out conditioner, the deep conditioner, the leave-in conditioner, the oils, the gel, the milk. And I ended up only using the shampoo, the conditioner, and the leave-in conditioner. So I've learned that you don't need to buy the brands whole line in order to care for your hair. Keep it simple with your shampoo, your conditioner, whether it's a rinse out conditioner or deep conditioner, and your leave-in conditioner. And in between washes, what you wanna do is make sure you keep your hair conditioned in order to minimize hair breakage. And that is how you retain length. So in this case, I would never buy a bundle, just up front. So what I've done is I just looked at one of the products that is offered in the bundle. I looked at the icing on a curl, a hydrating moisture sealing butter. It is $10.99 for eight ounces. The ingredients label is mango butter, shea butter, coconut oil, avocado oil, vegetable glycerin, and vitamin E. Um, what I noticed at looking at the product's front label, it does not feature a claimed key ingredient. And when you look at the ingredients label, it just has seven ingredients in the product's formula. And I would be interested in actually trying this particular product because it sounds like something that my hair would might like because they're butters. They are not just oils. They are featuring within the first five ingredients on the ingredients label, butters, mango butter, shea butter. And then the third is coconut oil, very good oil. In fact, it's almost in every natural hair care product that you own. And then the fourth being avocado oil, vegetable glycerin. It is not having a significant impact in this product's formula. So it's more there to add viscosity to the product's formula. So for this particular product, I would be kind of interested in buying it. I might actually buy this one and see how it works on my hair. All right, so going to seven on the list, it is Alafia. Alafia was founded in 2003 by, it's, a, it's an African name, Alawa Indo which offers hair, skin, and body care products using one staple, and that is shea butter. Shea butter is a very common ingredient in natural hair care products. And with Alafia, they are doing a co-op with the locals in Africa. They have a collection that's called It's Beautiful Curls. It's available on their website. So I clicked on their website, clicked on hair type, then I clicked on shop by and then chose hair type. I selected 4A-4C and sculpt coils. If you look at my hair, if I put more product on my hair, I could have a curly look. So anyway, I clicked on sculpt coils and what was brought up was different hair products for my type 4A-4C hair. I decided to check out the Beautiful Curls Sculpt Coils Leave-In Conditioner. Would I buy or would I pass on the product? So the claim that it makes for the Beautiful Curls Sculpt Coil Leave-In Conditioner is that it gives maximum moisture for thirsty strands. Claim key ingredients marked on the front label is unrefined shea butter. Based on the ingredients label on the back of the bottle, the first five ingredients are water. Number two is caprylic slash capri triglyceride. Number three is satiro alcohol. Number four is glycerin. Number five is polysorbate 60. Number six is shea butter. So based on their own information on the website, shea butter is not a key ingredient in this product. What is doing the work of this product is the number 
two and the number three ingredients. I like both of these ingredients. The number two ingredient is an emollient, it's an oil. Number three is a fatty alcohol. Both of these ingredients are extremely common ingredients in hair care products. Number four, glycerin, it's a humectant. Number five, polysorbate, 60, it is an emulsifier. And those are some really good ingredients to have in a leave-in conditioner. So I would buy this product, but I'm not fooled by the marketing claim that shea butter is doing the work of this product. Shea butter being listed number six on the ingredients label, it is there for marketing purposes, but it is not there to do the work of the product. Shea butter is a marketing claimed key ingredient, but it's not doing the work of the product. If you want me to review any of the other products on their website, let me know. All right, so number eight on the list is XOXO Virgin Hair. Right off the bat, I would just pass on this. I've never worn a weave. Yeah, I just never worn a weave. I I, I don't know what else to say that. I'm just so um, ignorant about a weave because I'm too lazy about my hair. Um, I am a low maintenance person where if I got a weave, you, you have to maintain that look, meaning it is so obvious, first of all, that it is a weave. And then when you let it go three, four weeks without maintaining your weave, it looks really bad. And I have a few friends that it gets to that point and you're like, mm -mm, I don't look good. And it's extremely expensive when it comes to a weave because even though I would not buy a weave, I went to the website to see what it was about. So just so you know, um, the marketing claims is that their hair is purchased by major celebrities. Mary J. Blige, who I've definitely heard of, MJ Rodriguez, I don't know who that is, and Taraji P. Henson, definitely know who that is. And with Taraji P. Henson, she actually created her own natural hair care line. And I did do a review of her line and collection. Check it out. I will put it here so you can see it. But obviously she wears, you know, weave, which I have nothing against weaves. It's just for personal reasons, I do not wear weaves because it is about maintenance. And two, they're just too expensive. Going to their website, I checked out the hair that they offer. And I could not believe the prices for these bundles. I, I was like, no way. And that's not even covering your whole head. That's just covering an area of your head. So if you have to maintain that, you are spending some good money in order to make sure your hair looks good. And then on top of that, it damages your scalp and your edges. So just be aware of what you're doing and don't do a lot of tugging on your hair strands or your edges because it can actually pull your hair out permanently and you cannot grow hair back. So for me, it would be a hard pass because I don't wear weaves, but I do wear extensions and I buy synthetic hairs and they're like $4 each. All right, moving on to the next. On the list, it is number nine, Kosa Professionals. Founded in 2012 by Yummy O, featuring hot tools, i.e. curling iron, blow dryer, things that you apply heat to your hair, heating products. And it will be an immediate pass for me. I do not use any heat on my hair, simply for the fact that my hair's porosity is high. High porosity hair is very fragile. So heat does not help in the caring process of making sure your hair stays on your head. I remember before I went natural, I didn't even relax my hair. My hair prior to that, over seven years ago, I wore my hair in braid extensions from high school to about 45. So I always had my hair 
in braids with extensions. And the few times that I wore my hair out, I went straight to straightening my hair with a curling iron or using a blow dryer because I was embarrassed to wear my hair natural like this. And I immediately went into manipulating it aggressively with a hot comb or blow dryer and wearing it straight. And immediately my hair would start falling out because my hair cannot withstand heat. So for this particular product, my Kosa Professionals, it would be a hard pass for me. But anyway, if you use hot tools, go to Kosa Professionals, see if there's something there you like. The number 10 on the list is You Go Natural. Founded in 2016 by Monique Little, they feature head wraps. Offers range of turbans in several patterns and solid colors for both men and women, plus even a swim collection. And the price range for them are $35. So for me, just off the top, I probably would not buy the product because I have so much stuff here anyway. I don't need something else, but it might be a very nice gift to someone you know. You know, so think about it for the holidays. The last on the list is You High Hair. You High Hair sells hair care products. Founded in 2017 by Susan Edward and her husband, who are from Liberia, and they use baobab oil as the base for all the products. And the products are available at their website. They offer bundle collection, but they're also sold separately. And I checked out the Intensive Deep Conditioner. The price for that is $15.99 for 8 ounces. And the claim is that it is infused with baobab oil. I believe baobab oil definitely has a lot of benefits to it and let's just go straight to see if I would either buy or pass on the product and the way I will determine that is looking at the actual key ingredients in this product and so in this case when I look at ingredients label the actual key ingredients are voiceover time Sorry, I said the wrong key ingredient, so I am going to say it here. The key ingredients are number one, water, number two, coconut oil, number three, shea butter, number four, behentramonium methyl sulfate, and number five is cetyl alcohol. The claimed key ingredients are peppermint oil, baobab oil, hydrolyzed wheat protein, and lauric acid. As you can see, there is a difference between the two when it comes to what they are claiming to be the key ingredients that are doing the work of the product compared to what the actual ingredients that are doing the work of this product. Water is a solvent. It's just there to mix the other ingredients together. Coconut oil is an emollient. It's an oil. Behentramonium methyl sulfate is a cationic surfactant. Satira alcohol is a fatty alcohol, very good alcohol. All these ingredients that are in this product's formula, it is a basic formula for a conditioner. You will find a lot of different brands using the same formula and claiming that it is unique from another brand so you really just need to look at the ingredients label to see whether it is using something different or applying the same ingredients and just putting a different packaging than another one that used the same ingredients. In this case, to be honest with you, I would probably not buy this product. Uh, it's a reasonable price. I'm on the fence with this one. It's a reasonable price, $15.99 for eight ounces, but it's using a formula that is no different from other brands that use the same formula. And I'm just not sure if I want to spend the money to do that. 
if they were at a Target, if they were at major retail stores and the product was there, I would probably buy it. But if you want to support black owned hair care lines, go ahead and buy this product. I just simply have way too many products right now on my shelf and I don't really want to buy another product that is similar to what I already have. All right, so that is it. If you guys like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, just make sure you post them below. If you have any products that you wish for me to review, please just post it in the comment section below. And last, if you like my channel, please make sure you guys subscribe. I'm so tired. So until next time, this is Naturally Z signing out. Peace.